Reality check on immigration in America. Is America still the lure it once was? President Obama arriving in Mexico City to talk immigration reform tonight. As we confirm a surprising number, how many undocumented immigrants in America have decided to return to Mexico? ABC's White House correspondent Jim Avila in Mexico. Footsteps echo through a nearly empty northern Mexico village. Expensive homes bolted shut. Block after block of shuttered doors in El Cargadero. Their absentee owners working hundreds of miles away. So where is everybody? Mostly they're in California. Um, I will say two thirds of the people that are from here, they reside in uh, Southern California. But now many Mexicans who desperately cross the northern border for work are coming home. Chased away not by the fear of deportation, but by U.S. unemployment. When the economy started uh -huh. going down, it was hard, especially in my work. Erica Felix coming home after working illegally for nine years in the United States, hiding in the shadows. You're always, like, in fear, you know? A surprising trend so strong, yet often lost in the border security debate. Now migration between the U.S. and Mexico is at net zero about 1.4 million Mexicans each year into the United States and the same number out. Some lured by an improving economy at home. Soon the streets of these villages could be filled with its citizens again. So you might as well live in Mexico, where, yeah. where mm -hmm. you're Pretty a full much. citizen and... Yeah, and, and you have more rights, more freedom, you know, you're not hiding. All of this begging the question for advocates of immigration reform of whether or not too much money is being spent on border security, some $12 billion a year. This at exactly the same time those against immigration reform say more money should be spent.